after all the fun of, oh, thank you, thank you, after all the fun of yesterday and getting back on Siena and feeling all like, oh, this is, we're going back in the right direction, thinking about all the future, <laughs> thanks. Um, last night at about half eleven, don't because she will nip, half eleven, um, I got the worst sound that you ever get when you're next to stables, which is banging and crashing and just, you know, like all hell's breaking out. I'm not going to be able to do this next to you, am I? No. A um, lot of loud banging and kicking and just smashing around. So, of course, um, I'm as blind as a bat, if you can tell, that's why I wear glasses. And it felt like it took me about 10 minutes to get out of bed. It wasn't, it was probably less than a minute. I was there, like, trying to find my glasses in the dark and just, you're panicking, aren't you? Because you hear that noise and you're thinking, someone's stuck. Someone's stuck in the stable and I need to get out of there ASAP. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and <laughs> I've been quite annoying. Um, anyway, I got out as quick as I could, and it's Sienna who was stuck, and she had somehow got herself stuck on the stable door. I don't know what she was doing, how she got in that position. Um, she got herself off of it, but you know, you know what horses are like when they get cast, they thrash and they try and get themselves free, and they don't look after themselves in the process, they just smash themselves to pieces. Me coming from the future. Um, I watched back the footage of the morning after when Sienna got cast and how I look, and I look horrific, I look rough. <laughs> Obviously, it all happened nearly in the middle of the night and even though I, did, I got into bed at like sort of half 12, quarter to one, I then stressed for the next few hours. So I really didn't get any sleep, which is why I look just as awful as I do now. I don't take a huge amount of pride in my appearance, as you can see, you know, my hair often resembles a bird's nest. But I do look particularly bad in this, so sorry, it's not the most appealing video footage, but um, I just really was feeling very drained. So yeah, just thought I'd add that in. Anyway, um, when I got obviously out there, I could see her, like the last move of her getting up. Anyway, I took her out onto the yard and um, she was obviously lame because she was really sore. She had cut herself on her back legs. She had, I don't know how she got into that position. I don't really, know if she sat down just right at the front of the door or whether she rolled from the back to the front and ended up pinning herself up there I don't really know I can't quite work out she had taken most of her halos out of her manger and shoved it at the front door so I don't know I call it front door stable door I don't know she just then thought she could sit anywhere in her stable I don't I don't know I'm we've had a few get cast before over the years um not many I think two or three she has got cast once before but at the back of the stable um, she is, as I said before, a very sort of expressive roller when she wants to be. Um, anyway, I got her out of the stable and she was, bless her, she was shaking like a leaf. She was covered in water because she'd knocked her water bucket over as well. So she'd been sort of splashing around in water while trying to get free. And um, she's, like I said, cut one of her back legs. Um, she was just, I mean, she was nearly on three legs, which was you don't want to see that and I was thinking oh god she's done it's not even just like little cuts it's the the muscle damage that they've done tearing themselves around trying to get free and you know you don't know if they haven't chipped a bone or even done a small fracture because you're biking yes I know she's like get feed me then don't stop talking about it feed me um anyway she was she was very stressed when I got her out like bless her she was nearly in a bit of shock this is a lovely angle, isn't it? Look how puffy faced I look because I spent the rest of the night worrying about you. Um, stop it, stop it, stop it. Anyway, I called Hose to legs and gave her some butte last night because I just thought, you know, she's going to be uncomfortable tomorrow morning because she's going to be as stiff as anything. Um, and yeah, pretty much stayed the rest of the night awake in bed thinking, I don't really want to get up tomorrow morning and find out what she looks like. Um, both back legs are swollen this morning, as expected. Not horrendously so, but they are obviously swollen. She's still very, very sore, especially on the one that's cut. Um, I'm slightly worried about her kind of flank area in that it feels quite hard, the muscle there. I think, you know, she's going to have definitely shredded her muscles by trying to get herself out of the position she did. She is now wearing... Yes, I know, I'm going to do the next. I've shoved the cold boots on. Her left hind is the slightly worse one, I think, um, being that it has the cuts on it. But to be fair, I think she's actually very sore on both back legs. She actually didn't walk out too badly this morning. She was very stiff and she looked like tentative as she walked out. But 
compared to yesterday, like last night when I walked her out and she looked like she was on three legs. It was better than I was expecting. Um, this is the size that I'm just slightly worried about. She just, even when she came out last night, I could tell she'd obviously like whacked her size. This is the thing, you just don't know how much damage they've done underneath, do you? I'll show you the door. This is her door. I mean, these are pretty deep dents and her feet got as high up as here. Um, you don't learn though, why are you putting your feet up there? Um, yeah, so you can just see how much she was kicking the door last night trying to get herself back off of it. Yeah. So, anyway, I don't really know what to say. She had a massive bed last night. You'd have thought she'd wanted to sleep at the back like she would normally, but no. She, she chose to somehow get to the front and get yourself in a right mess, didn't you, dear? Anyway, like I say, I'm more worried about nearly like structurally what's going on underneath and how much damage she's done to herself that way i will get on and feed you i'm gonna feed her because she she's she's wondering why i'm talking and not doing stuff aren't you anyway i'll update you later on how she's looking all right i'm coming so i've just chucked her out and um, so that even though her back legs are a little swollen um i don't want her stood in all day I just think she could do with walking a little bit. Um, and then I can sort of keep an eye on. Afternoon guys, I am back from work and feeling drained. <laughs> feeling like I didn't sleep last night, which I didn't. Um, she's got the ice boots back on. Not that she particularly likes it, but she's a very good girl because she does tolerate it. Left leg is definitely more swollen than the right leg, but the left leg has the cuts on it. So keeping my fingers very tightly crossed that it's just the cuts um, I'm still quite worried about her left flank as well in that I just think it, the muscle feels quite hard but um, yeah the neighbor's about to start his change so again happy weekend if you saw my last vlog this runs the next day you know how happy I get when the person next door spends his whole weekend playing with his chainsaw anyway I'm gonna trot her up in a bit and see how we get on um, and see how she's looking fingers crossed fingers crossed indeed Good morning guys, it's now Monday and I thought I'd do a Sienna update. She is looking okay. I always think it, think it takes a few days for like any injuries to really uh, like make themselves known on horses when they first do something. So um, I'm still sort of like holding my breath and hoping that she's absolutely fine and have like a lucky escape. She is still quite sore. She's still got sort of puffy back legs, especially the one with the, I'm hoping superficial cuts. They look, they look superficial to me. Um, she went out in the field yesterday for a little walk around. So obviously I don't want her being in the stable too much if she's, you know, going to stiffen up. Um, at which point I later found her galloping around the field, which I thought, not ideal today, see, and of all the days, this is not the day to be doing galloping. Um, and then I hand walked her in the arena in the afternoon and she had a bit of a jog up and she didn't look too bad. So I really am hoping she might have had a lucky escape. But like I say, I'm just going to keep an eye on her for the next few days and see if anything starts to materialise. Um, because obviously she really did give herself an absolute, you know, walloping as she tried to i don't know do whatever she did up the stable door get herself completely stuck um i have got a very busy week coming up i didn't quite realize when i because it's half term for most this week and normally that means it's quite quiet for me so i thought let's let's put a show in i really need to get coop out before the regionals so i thought let's go for a, to a show this week i'm sure there'll be plenty of time turns out it wasn't such a quiet week which is great work-wise but not so great time-wise because i'm i'm slightly stressing that i can't fit everything in but hey we'll just we'll just get on and do it it'll be fine so yeah me and mr cooper are going out on wednesday so of course i will vlog that i'm, I'm feeling quite excited but let's hope it goes to plan because there are no like no more outings before regional so we'll just i'm sure it'll be fine he knows what he's doing i know what we're kind of doing it's all fine um yeah anyway feeling a bit drained this morning i won't lie i feel like i've had delayed anxiety because one of my biggest triggers is animal my animals being ill it's, it's pathetic i know but i just i can't bear it and it stresses me out really easily even if it's nothing major i just get very stressed out about it and so this morning i've woken up you know when you get that like really heavy feeling on your chest and you just feel knackered i felt a bit like that this morning but anyway not enough to stop me from getting on and doing stuff but yeah just like you feel like you need to do lots of deep breaths <laughs> the deep breaths and try to fill your lungs with air um but it'll be fine it'll be fine so yes busy week exciting week hopefully fingers crossed the is fine and yeah 
anyway we just keep going don't we so you gotta do in life just keep going um anyway uh as i say a bit of a surprise vlog um i will hopefully have a competition vlog first of 2023 out on sunday so uh, yeah please give the video a like a subscribe a comment you know i really like reading the comments and um replying to them oh, so cringy whenever i say it i always feel so cringy going please like please subscribe i just need to get over it don't know anyway i am going um hope you have a good week guys <laughs>